Hello everyone, this is a video that will walk you through how to create very simple um, box charts, box plots, candlestick charts, or norm charts using um, Google Spreadsheets. Uh, recently I found out some new found out about some new functionality in, in Google Spreadsheets and I'm really excited about that because it makes the process of finding normative data or displaying normative data makes it really simple so that's what this video is all about so let's take a look at the screen what we have over here are uh, four columns including data because we just want to do grade level uh, norms by school as you see over here in the chart we don't have student names or classrooms or anything like that we just have the school grade level we have digits correct and then problems correct. So digits correct would be your CBM data. This means um, nine digits correct per minute and then nine problems correct per minute for this student. Remember we don't, uh, for the purposes of this um, exercise, that is creating normative data or benchmark charts, bo box plots, whatever you want to call it, we don't need individual student uh, names or identification. All right, so let's get to it. It's very simple, it's very easy to do this. Uh, what we want to use are these pre-formatted charts. We don't want to change anything because this is the exact format that uh, Google Spreadsheets recognizes. So we'll use these exact charts. Notice I created two um, tables, not charts, but these are tables. Notice that I created two tables to correspond to these two uh, columns of data. So I have one for digits correct and one for problems correct. All right, so how do we find the 10th percentile, the score at the 10th percentile, digits correct score at the 10th percentile for first grade? It's a very simple formula that we'll copy. Equals percentile, then we want to open the parentheses, type in the range of the data that we're looking for. So here we're looking at digits correct which ranges from C2 all the way down to, I think it's about C56. So we'll do that. Uh, yep, C56 is the last of the first grade data. So notice that it automatically captures that. Now all we want to do is comma um, 0 0.10, and that should return to us the score at the 10th percentile, which is 4.4. Um, to me, an easy way of just copying all of this is to uh, copy this out by dragging this little uh, this little guy here. Copy that out and let's go to each cell and just make the changes. C2 to C56 and then 0.25. Okay, that'll give us the score at the 25th percentile. I'm sure there's an easier way to do this, but I'm just going to do it this way. Equal, so we uh, the formula, let me make the screen get a little bit bigger. The formula here is going to be equals percentile and then you see the parentheses c2 colon c56 comma 0.75 and that'll return to me the score over here in the um, 75th percentile column now I clicked on this uh, cell so I can enter the 90th percentile we'll go right over here change it to c2 to c56 and then to 0.9 or 0.90 we'll be fine so now we have all of our scores, uh, essentially we have a large range of scores in the first grade. Now we'll do that same thing for second grade, equals percentile. Let's find the range uh, for the digits correct data. It's not C8, uh, we're looking for the second grade. So it starts with C57, it ranges all the way down to about, I'd say C105. So uh, because it's in real time over here, we just hit uh, comma and then point one zero, and that gives us right back up here our score at the 10th percentile. Remember what I did before to make things simple. Just took this little square, dragged it out. Again, I'm sure there's a much easier way to do this. Um, I'm just going to do it this way now for the heck of it. 0.25. All right, C57, 
C105. This is going to take me a few minutes, but it's important to, uh, to walk through because I want to walk you through everything we need to do just in this one little table so that I can show you how to make a chart. It's not just making tables, but it's also making charts. So 0.9. Now we have full, complete uh, information for first and second grade. I'll do the same thing. Equals per centile. Um, that's got to be C um, I don't remember the range so let's go back down here take a look at where the third grade starts C106 to C should be about 162 if I'm remembering correctly yes 162 comma point one zero close the parentheses and we have our score at the uh, 10th percentile for third grade, which would be 2. Now let's just drag this out like we did before. We'll go back up to the formula bar, change that C106 colon C162.25. I'm thinking you're getting the gist of it at this point. C106 colon C162.75. And we have one left. C106 colon C162.9 and now we have a full uh, data sheet. I'm sorry, we have a full table. That's what this is. A table. So let me shrink this back down and we'll insert our um, candlestick chart is what they call it in Google Spreadsheet. In Microsoft Excel it's called a box plot. Um, you've heard it referred to as box and whisker plots. Um, CBM, we just want to call them norms charts or benchmark charts. All right, very simple. Let's highlight the entire table. Go to insert chart. The type of chart we want falls under trend here in the chart editor. And it's this bottom one they call the candlestick chart. Notice the cool thing here is that they already gave us um, the chart. This is literally the chart. All we want to do is insert the chart, and we can insert anywhere we want. Right here in the um, right here in the uh, worksheet is is good enough for now. But let's take a look at what this does um, when we hover over. Let's delete this chart for a second. Go back to insert the chart. Okay, when you have a working chart or a linked chart, if you hover over the first grade, it gives you your um, percentile ranges. If you hover over second grade, it gives you your percentile ranges. 6 to 17 for the um, 10th percentile through the 90th, and then 7 to 13, which is your 25th through the 75th percentile. Now, how, will you, how you would use this, uh, these data, would be that students, let's take an example. Students at second grade, scoring below the 25th percentile or scoring at or below a 6 would be progress monitored in first grade material and instructed in first grade material. Scoring below the 25th percentile indicates that they are at a frustrational range with the curriculum demands in second grade. Okay, That's exactly what these data um, indicate. Now, it may indicate it more so with computation fluency or computation norms than with digits correct. Um, but that is one way of thinking about how you would go about uh, monitoring progress. There's more to it than that. Um, I really wanted to just spend today walking you through how to create box plots rather than interpreting all of these data. But if you would like more assistance, feel free to contact me at scott.methy at umb.edu. The last thing I want to say is, is that uh, once you insert your chart, we'll go back to inserting this chart, there's a lot of ways to uh, change the title by clicking on the title, changing the axis. So here we would have uh, something like digits correct per minute. We can change the colors. Uh, you can change the background, the axes, all kinds of things. It's very functional, very simple to do. And I hope you have a lot of success summarizing your data and in database decision making for improving student achievement. Thanks and have a great day.